Okay, so my hair is freshly washed. I did condition it really well. I condition my hair really well every single time I wash it. So we've got clean hair, and I do have a lot of products I use, several steps I take, but it's just what I do to try to keep my hair in good condition, and I'm just gonna show you all the steps I take. So the first thing I like to do with freshly washed hair is put in some sort of hair oil. What I'm using today is the BioSilk Silk Therapy Light. This is really nice. So I've kind of already got that in my hands and I like to make sure that's mostly getting on the ends of my hair. You can use this on wet or dry hair. So I'm putting that in. Now I'm going to put a leave-in conditioner. This is from Ozzy. So this is just what I have. My fingers are slippery and I cannot get the cap off. Okay, this is just what I have. So what I'm going to use. Again, with that product, I like to focus it mostly on the ends of my hair because that's really what gets dried out. Okay, next step is a root boosting product. This is from Tressa May. This is the Beautiful Volume. And it's just a mousse. I actually really, really like this stuff. Before this, my favorite was always the Catwalk brand which is a lot more expensive obviously, but I've never seen this product before. I don't know if it's fairly new or if I've just been missing it all this time. I'm just going to put that in my hands and start kind of massaging that mostly into the roots. So I don't know if I've been missing this product all this time, but I think I might actually like this even more than the catwalk one, so. Last thing is a heat protectant spray. This is from Garnier Fructis. The issue I have with heat protective sprays is it's not a product that you can tell right away that it's actually working. So it's hard to know. That's why I don't generally buy expensive ones because I just can't, I have no way of knowing that it's really doing what it says it does. You know, with like a root boosting product or a hair oil or something, you can tell right away if it's kind of giving you the results you want but not with that okay so my hair is still really pretty damp sometimes i will let it air dry for a little bit but i find with root boosting products in the past if i let it get too dry and then i blow dry my hair it just doesn't work so i always like to kind of dry it right away when i use products like this Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna take my hair dryer and kind of try to get most of the moisture out of my hair, and then I'll show you what I do with hairbrush after that. pretty dry so now I'm going to take my vented hairbrush and this is my favorite thing to use for my hair I just think it works well the air is able to pass through the brush and I think that helps get your hair dry faster so I really just use this to try to get the curl and wave out of my hair the longer my hair is getting the more curl that I'm starting to see come back in and I kind of forgot how curly my hair really is. So my bangs here might be a little bit too dry actually, but pretty much when I use this thing, especially with these hairs on the top, I like to just flip it back and forth from side to side, really get it going in different directions and kind of pulling the hair through the brush to try to straighten it out. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Again, I will be probably like fast forwarding this with some music so that you don't have to listen to my loud hair dryer the whole time. But that's really all I'm doing, but you can see it now as I'm doing it.
think we got everything dry. So what I like to do sometimes while my hair is still warm and the cuticles are open is use, sometimes I'll go in with a hair oil again through the ends of my hair, but today I'm gonna be using this hydrating um, kind of shine spray. And I do this, like I said, when the hair is still warm because it'll absorb it better than if the hair has cooled off um, and the cuticles aren't open anymore. So that's what I like to do. So you can see my hair isn't super curly or anything anymore. So it makes it easier when I go in with my flat iron to just quickly touch up a couple little spots. And also, I mean, I don't know that this is true, but in my mind, I just feel like using a hairdryer probably causes less damage than two really hot plates like surrounding your hair and pulling through it, just in my mind. So I like to do most of the work with my hairdryer and then, like I said, touch up with the straightener after. Okay, now on to the straightening part of this. You can see these hairs really curl under. They always do that and I don't know, I can't really always do a lot about it because recently we've had a lot of humidity here and um, they start curling under even after I've tried to fix it. My quarter's really tangled here. Okay, so I'm just running this through here. Okay, now for my favorite product. This is the Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. This is really, really good. I just start spraying this kind of all through my hair, honestly. The thing I love about this product is it doesn't dry out your hair. And I'm gonna put this in today. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and my hair's still gonna look very voluminous and I'm still going to be able to fill that hold in there but it's not like the um, volumizing hair powders that I use a lot that makes your hair feel straight up dirty and I don't necessarily love that either but it works so well that that's what I use a lot of the time but this works really well too it doesn't give you as much volume as the hair powder but I just like it a lot better. It's almost like a soft hold hairspray. So if you're somebody that doesn't really love hairspray and if you've just curled your hair and you kind of want a little bit of hold with a little bit of that bouncy volume, get some of this and put it in it. Put it in there. I've used expensive texture sprays. I think the one I used was from Sexy Hair or something. But my problem with repurchasing it was that I just went through it so fast. And I'm pretty sure this comes with a lot more product than that one did. Anyway, I didn't repurchase it a lot because I was just going through it too quickly. And I didn't want to spend all that money on it all the time. But now I have found this one and it works really well. Sometimes hairsprays and dry shampoos, I can definitely tell it dries out the end of my hair a little bit. But like I said, this just doesn't do that. So I'm using this product more and more. So you can see how much amazing volume that gives my hair. I love it. 
but I am, there's a hair somewhere in my eye. I am gonna go ahead and tease my hair a little bit just to make sure that it's going to stay all day. Okay, now it's time to set this all in place with hairspray. I'm using my Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. Alrighty, so that is pretty much sort of my everyday styling routine. Um, I am planning on doing a video on how I sort of give myself a proper blowout, but this is what I do probably most often if I don't have time to do a blowout or if I'm just too lazy to do it, or if I'm just trying to hurry and dry my hair before work, I don't have time to be using a round brush. But I am gonna show you that because I really love how that makes my hair look as well. But you can see this works pretty well too. I'm always getting requests to see the back of my hair. So I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. Also, I want to say if you wanna see a full list of all the products that I used, click the link in the down bar for my blog. I just started it, I'm a little nervous about it. I don't know what I'm doing at all. So if any of you have any tips on blogging, let me know because I could use the help. Also, my hands look kind of bad. My, I don't even need to go into it. I'm just sorry that they look orange. Okay, so here's a look at all the sides of my hair after I've styled it. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it. Let me know anything else you'd like to see in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.